June. Hey, Blaine Smith here, welcoming you back to another episode of Metal Monthly. Bangers look, and hey, what's coming out in that month? And that month being June. As always, we have our Patreon. You can support us on there, keep shows like this coming out. And you know, we've got some new things in the works on over there, so you might wanna keep an eye on that channel. As always, if you wanna keep an eye on me and hear most of the albums I talk about, come on over to my Twitch channel. I play video games, listen to metal, and talk to you guys. Sometimes Jeff from Possessed hangs out. It's cool. Up first, we had a list of some big things coming out this month. We might get a chance to cover some of them. We might not. Some of them we don't mention we might cover. You know, this is just so you can put in your brain box, head on over to Bandcamp or their stores or whatever, and you know, blow all your hard-earned money. Up first, we got Pelican releasing Nightmare Stories on Southern Lore June 7th. Also on June 7th, Cave-In is releasing the final transmission on Hydra Head. Enthroned is releasing Cold Black Suns on Season of Mist June 7th. Uh, Hate is releasing Oric Gates of Vels on Metal Blade Records June 14th. Pinkish Black is releasing Concept Unification on Relapse on the 14th. And Memoriam is releasing Rec Room for Mankind on Nuclear Blast June 21st. So that's what's coming out, but as always, I have crawled through the depths of band camp with an onslaught of weird band names and terrible cover art to find you the five best tink 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 hidden gems coming out this month that I think you should put in your ear balls. So the first record I want to talk about could have been the palette cleanse I do at the end, but I'm just so pumped about it, it's gotta come first. Lunar Shadow is releasing Smokeless Fire on Cruz del Sur Music. Hey, those guys are pretty cool, eh? On June 21st. This is some German heavy metal. Uh, the first track on the album, Catch Fire, might be my favorite one-off song I've heard this year. It's fantastic. This album is so good, there's both piano and some weird Carlos Santana guitar on it, and I'm still 100% on board and pumped. If you're like, hey man, I wish Ghost sounded good, uh, hey, this is the band for you. Just a really great record. Every song just is like, yeah, mm, it's like, if. Come Lift Me Up Where I Love Belongs. Is that the name of that song? If that was like metal, like just the feeling normal humans get for that, if you wanted that feeling in metal, this is it. Up next, we have an EP, and I, I normally don't include EPs in here. I broke my rules, but I'll explain why after we take a listen to Rip to Shreds, Demon Scriptures, and on Pulverized Record, June 14th. <laughs> So this is a bit of a weird band to explain. They're death metal. It's all recorded by this guy, Andrew Lee, out of California, but the live band plays out of Taiwan. I don't know how it works, but it works. Uh, the cover, we've got some Asian brutality for a change instead of our regular generic Western brutality by Velio Josto. So mixing it up, I like that. And uh, so why is this EP on here when I normally only list full length? Well, I love Rip to Shreds and when it came up on Bandcamp that they had a new thing. I got an email and I was so excited. I sent a message to Andrew and was like, hey, can I get that? I wanna put it on my show. And he was like, okay. And then I found out it was an EP. And then I was like, shoot. But I already told him I was gonna do it. And if I'm that excited before I've even heard it, it should probably be in here. Uh, this is just super great death metal. It runs the gamut. Literally, this is a four song EP. One song is 44 seconds. One song is 10 minutes. That's the range you manages to cover in one EP. If you're not on the Rip to Sheds train, buy a ticket, wait in line, because there's a bunch of people trying to get on that train. It's gonna be one of those, you know, jamming everybody on their conductor situations, but get on while you still can. Okay, I feel like I've been talking too fast, so let's slow it down 
both me-wise and music-wise. Eh, connection. Slowmatics are releasing Canyons on Black Bow Records June 14th. This has been a favorite band of mine for a while. It's some sludgy doom out of Ireland. Uh, great, oh man, that cover, look at that cover. Is it behind me? I think it's behind me. Uh, total Mobius vibes by Roland at Familiar Inc. Uh, it's like this close. Their Slowmatic's older album, Estron, is like one of my favorite top five album covers of all time. This doesn't beat it, but damn, it's close. Beautiful album cover and a great album inside deserving of such cover. Uh, they've always been able to create this nice big wall of sound that really blows you away, but this is a bit of a level up album, I feel, for the band. Uh, they've added a lot more complexity that you don't normally get when you think of Sludgy Doom. There's some nice variety in the drumming that make it a standout record in the genre. I've listened to a lot of Sludge and Doom and I've been becoming a little fatigued recently. This totally shook that, totally broke that. If you're a Sludge Doom guy, get on it. And even if you're not, there might be something in there for you. Hmm. We've got an exciting debut album up next. Uh, Superstition is putting out The Anatomy of Unholy Transformation on 20 Bucks Spin, June 21st. Have a listen. Death Metal. <laughs> So yes, this is death metal out of New Mexico. Uh, the cover art by Yurim Chung uh, is so good. There's a long sleeve of it. I'm gonna purchase a long sleeve in June. That makes no sense. That's how much I like that cover. Uh, what we have here is, hey, you have a hard time getting by until that new Two Mold record comes out? Well, why not buy the record of the guys touring with Two Mold right now that are making some Two Mold level shit? Uh, they put out two super awesome demos, and this really, really lives up to them. Great debut album. Uh, totally crazed vocals that are just, I love it when someone sounds like they're really losing it. And the drums are awesome, and the way they're recorded, it sounds like you're sitting playing the drums. It's all coming at you from around you. Great effect, great sounding record. Highly recommend. And thus brings us to our palate cleanse. A little something that's a little less extreme, although we started with a palate cleanse as well. So, you know, just, just come in clean, leave clean. That's how we do it here. Uh, Vulture is releasing Ghastly Waves and Battered Graves on Metal Blade June 7th. As always, German thrash, best thrash. Uh, we got a great record with a great 80s horror B-movie cover that just mwah. And uh, the reason that is, is it integrates well. They have dubbed the synths they use on this. They use synths, but they dub them horror synths, and they totally sound like they're out of a horror movie. It's a great way to use synths, great way to work it in the music without getting all eh, cheesy. Uh, they got a new drummer as well, who's bringing some crazy energy top-notch stuff. Really, they're just making that German speed thrash stuff that the Germans do so well, and it just sounds German, which in most cases is, or in some cases, I guess, is a little dicey, but in this, in thrash and speed, it's a it's a sign of quality. Um, mwah, just, the, the vocals do that wah thing at the, uh, I just really like it. I'm really excited. It's a really good month. Buy all these records. Buy all of them. So hey, that's been Metal Monthly. I do this every month. If you like it and you're new, subscribe. 
come on back. If you're already here for it, hey, thanks. I appreciate you. Blaine Smith, signing off. <laughs>